Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. My name is Greg Sykes. Thank you for joining us. If you're new here, welcome aboard. If you don't mind, please consider subscribing to this channel. It would really help me out a lot. And when you do, make sure you hit that notification bell so you will never miss another video release here on the Washington Football Maniacs YouTube channel. With that said, let's get into today's video. So I'm telling you what, Giants fans were so upset with me talking about the officiating in the last game. You know, of course, I expect to hear this because I don't like to complain about officiating. And a lot of times, even I feel like it's cop-out. You know, people are like, oh, you're crybaby because that's what crybabies do. You know, when their favorite team loses, they start talking about how it's unfair and how the officials cheated. Wee, 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 wee. Well, guess what? <laughs> I'm, I'm calling a spade a spade. And I'm not the only one. Even all the NFL pundits, all the sports analysts out there analyze. And not only that, even the head of officiating out there even looked at it and said that these calls were atrocious. And talking about the Terry McLaurin call, he was not even anywhere within the play. What he was going to do had nothing to do with the play whatsoever. And I heard... Okay, so some of the Giants fans out there said, well, he didn't move, you know, what I saw was the official told him to move up and he didn't move up. Well, he did move up. And if you had listened to uh, some of the head of, of officiating, here's what they said. They said, when the, the side judge tells you to move up, they're not telling you to move up. They're not telling you to move up by like a yard they call it a blade of grass move. That's exactly what they said. So while all of you were expecting to see Terry McLaurin, and I don't know if I can actually, but while you were all expecting Terry McLaurin to make this move, that's actually not what he was supposed to do. He went blade of grass move. You know how small a blade of grass is, right? Well, maybe some of you guys don't know what grass is. But anyway, so when the side judge, when the receiver looks at the side judge and goes, you know, am I good? Side judge goes, move up. He's really saying blade of grass. You move just a little bit, then you check. And Terry McLaurin did say he checked twice. Now, a lot of you guys said, Oh, he just moved up a little bit, then he just looked back in the check. But he did. You, the other thing is, you can hear the interaction between Terry McLaurin and that side judge. So you can't say, well, he didn't check. Because obviously after the game, Terry McLaurin said he did, and the official said he was good, and then the official still threw the flag. So... Yeah, all of that was just, that That was not a good call, okay? It's just not a good call. And, of course, the other call, which really ended the game, was the non-pass interference. Now, I'm sorry, but I agree with the sen sentiment that if it's pass interference in the first quarter, it's pass interference in the fourth quarter. Now, I'm not saying that the Commanders football team, Redskins, in the past have never gotten calls their way that was blatant obvious that they should have gotten called. I've seen it plenty of times. You know, as a matter of fact, we got we got a horrible call, non-call that went our way in the Eagles game with that face mask face mask penalty that was not called on us that should have been called. Totally agree with that. And that could have changed the complexion of the game possibly, could have. But you know, otherwise, they didn't call it. And I'm saying to this, too, this was something that was, this was a fourth down play. This was a pass in the end zone. And the defender was hugging the receiver. I mean, hugging. It wasn't, it wasn't enough that it was just like a little tug on the jersey. No, he was actually, he was draped all over him. 
Everybody said it was pass interference. At no time would that be considered a judgment call. And if you're judging that and saying, nah, nah, I didn't see anything, then you're either dumb or you're blind or you're both. But that changed the complexion of the game because it would have given the commanders the ball at the one-yard line, a fresh set of downs, and plenty of time to score a touchdown. Now, yeah, the commanders still would have had to have went for two to actually tie the game up, but then we go back to a call much earlier when the commanders did score a touchdown and was going for the two-point conversion, which would have cut the lead to three points. They scored the two-point conversion, and then they got called for offensive pass interference. This was on Jahan Dotson, I believe it was. It was a pick play. And as we looked, both the deep defender but and also the wide receiver, they both have their right to their spot. And Jahan Dotson really didn't make any contact. It was really the defender who made the contact, if you go back and look at it. But yet, the officials called offensive pass interference. And Chris Collinsworth, which I don't always agree with him, um, he disagreed, said that that should have been a non-call. I don't know. I mean, again, I thought it was poor officiating, and there's a lot of poor officiating in the first game against the Giants. Now, the Giants fans are going to be like, well, the, the officiating was, was heavily in favor of the commanders in both of those games. How? I mean, how? You know, okay, let's go back to the first game when the flag was picked up for defensive pass interference on the Giants when the defender, which was Fabian Moreau, impeded Terry McLaurin's progress from being able to come back for the football. It was obvious, but yet no call or the flag was picked up for no pass interference. And then what about the play where Cornelius Lucas had his helmet ripped off by the face mask? No call. So I'm sorry, but if the argument is, well, there were some bad calls that were not called on the commanders to justify for these calls that were hugely horrible big calls that are either chunk penalties or at least 15-yard penalties, then you have to agree that the officiating is, is bad. And you can't, you can't use that as justification for non-calls that alter a game. And I think that is the whole point that we have to get away from officiating that alters football games. A, they try to be too technical and it's causing issues, but because that they're trying to be too technical, at the same time, they're not being consistent enough. And I think honestly, if you get to the point where you're gonna to have to start using instant replay to go back and to correct the referees, then you need to get rid of the referees and you need to get full-time referees that go through extensive training that only the best of the best get to go out and officiate NFL games. And I think that's what they're going to have to do. And then you pay them well enough because guess what? In this day of sports betting, which is being allowed now, you think that there's not an opportunity for officials to possibly alter games because maybe they had something on this game. Maybe they did. I mean, who's to say that that wouldn't happen? You pay these officials enough to where they would never even consider that. You pay them enough, but you train them enough to where there is just no absolutely no thought 
at all. They know exactly what the call is. They're going to call it and they're going to be consistent and they're going to be professional about it. That's what you're going to need for the NFL. I think it's long overdue and I think it's coming because I think I think there's been in the past few years you have seen NFL games just completely being altered, outcomes of games being completely altered because of the officiating. That's got to stop. Let me know in the comments section what you think. Please keep it clean, but let me know what your thoughts. Please like this video. Send me a comment. Share this video with others. Let them know what they should be watching. And again, if you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing to the Washington Football Maniacs YouTube channel. With that said, let's go Maniacs. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.